five generations, the Apollos family have worked on the Bosman family vineyard situated an hour's drive outside Cape Town. Rebecca Apollos is the treasurer of the Workers' Trust Fund, an initiative that works in conjunction with the wine farm's fair trade approved practices. I like to work on this farm. Here we have a very different opportunities for our children and for us. And yes, I like fair trade because fair trade helps us to go further. If you want to go further, you can go further or your children. It's a very good thing that fair trade does to us. Yeah. Fair trade is one of the most widely distributed social and ethical certification systems in the world. It spans over 22 countries and 900 producers. Fairtrade's mandate is to actively tackle exploitation and underdevelopment in agriculture by enabling small-scale farmers and farm workers to take control of their lives through skills development. I'm happy to be the project manager for all the social projects on the farm. And it's a pleasure for us to have Fairtrade on the farm. And Fairtrade is, is also for the community. Who, who, who the share of the money is and uh, the workers who, who have an equal lifestyle. Mm. So it was in the, in the past, it was what was awkward for people to come in front, but now when we have fed on the farm, people are more skilled. They uh, take con uh, contribution and take responsibility for their own lives and their kids' lives. The fair trade social premium is paid on top of the producer price and is entirely managed by farmers and farm workers. Farming communities use this added income to invest in projects that will enhance their quality of life. And this works towards the fair trade key principle of sustainability. Sustainable on, on different levels. Uh, first of all, on an economic level, uh, by making sure that um, not just the company is economically well off, but also the people that are working there, eh, or the small-scale farmers in a cooperative, that they economically can sustain themselves. Besides that, uh, it's about sustainable uh, social upliftment, eh, making sure that people are educated, that they can read and write. Um, and besides that, again, the environmental aspect is very important. So mm -hmm. sustainability has many different faces. Fair trade in Africa has traditionally focused on exports heading to developed markets. By all indications, this is changing and it is increasingly the African consumer who is demanding products produced fairly and sustainably, which means that the future could see more African supply chains headed by fair trade principles.